Hello, this is a tutorial for week three assignment two and week three assignment three for my online color theory class. Those of you who are not in the class um, or those who just want to remember what those assignments are about, that that's the assignment in which we're going to take uh, one color and make it appear to be two different colors and then conversely we're going to take two different colors and make them appear to be one color and the way this is accomplished is through a principle called ground subtraction um, in which colors ha interact with each other to actually change the way that they appear and this is important because this is how colors interact all the time and so we set this up as a simple uh, demonstration by having um, a larger rectangle of a background color so go ahead and draw a larger rectangular shape for the background and copy it twice I'm doing this by using the black arrow key to hold down and holding down alt to click and drag a second triangle and placing it next to the other you can choose any shape you like the rectangle is just the simplest um, there's no need to get fancy with this exercise because the bulk of the exercise is in manipulating the colors then you need uh, a central color which is your foreground, foreground color and that just needs to be a smaller rectangle that sits in the middle. So make a small rectangle, drag it out, sit it in the middle, copy it and put it into the other background rectangle. Then you need to choose what your foreground color is going to be. In this first exercise we're going to make one color appear as two colors. So the foreground color needs to be the same in both of these squares. Um, and most of our color manipulations are going to be done using the color picker because we want to be able to fine-tune the adjustments of the hue, var value, and saturation and um, also because uh, it's easier to compare the colors that you're selecting so uh, you can pick up, you can find, you can get to the color picker any number of ways probably the simplest way is just to double click on the foreground swatch over here in the bottom left corner so just double click on that it opens up this dialog box which is called the color picker make sure that only web colors is unchecked because you want to have the access to the full wide range of colors now um, I'm just going to state right now that this assignment is easier to complete if you choose a color that kind of is halfway between two colors so a color that's kind of a mixture of two different colors and so I'm going to choose a color that's kind of got some yellow in it but also has some green in it um, this assignment is also easier if you choose a color that is kind of of a medium saturation and of a medium brightness uh, and I'll show you I'll explain why in a moment so d click on the radial buttons for the hue the saturation and the brightness brightness meaning value and adjust those um, to your satisfaction once you've selected your color then it's you know uh, well because you ha we had this rectangle selected it automatically filled in on this rectangle if it if it didn't automatically select what you can do is you can then select the rectangle that you want to hold that color and then use the uh, eyedropper tool to pick up that color and place it into that rectangle um, so now we've got our central foreground color selected then we need a background color that's going to make this color look different in each case so we want to attempt to manipulate not only the hue the appearance of the hue but also the appearance of the value and the saturation value meaning lightness or darkness and saturation meaning intensity so we do this by by manipulating the following um, select the background uh, rectangle again go into your color picker okay and um, and basically uh, I recommend thinking about the principle something called the principle of ground subtraction I'm going to move this over a bit so that you can see what's going on as we look at the color picker open the color picker again okay again make sure you have that back rectangle selected so the um, the principle of ground subtraction says that the, the background color will subtract its qualities from the foreground color so what this essentially means is that um, if you have, as we do, a yellowy green color and you put it onto a green green background then um, then it will 
appear the color the foreground color will appear more appear to be more yellow because the background will subtract its green qualities from the foreground color so I'm going to choose a fairly dark um, green color here for the background color and so what's happening here is now I've made this foreground in the green color look more yellow and because I've chosen a darker background it also makes the foreground color look lighter because it's pulling out the darkness of the foreground color to make it look lighter and as you notice, I don't know if you noticed, but I also manipulated the saturation. I put the saturation at full saturation, which sh makes the foreground color look more dull. Okay, so we have now a lighter, duller, more yellow green than, than, than this green. You see, already they look different. Okay, so now I'm going to do the contrasting opposite to that for this background color select that swatch again go to hue to manipulate the hue this time I'm going to choose a yellow background and I'm going to make the um, saturation not as bright but I am going to make um, not as uh, full but I am going to make it really really bright okay so now you can already see how this single color looks like a completely different color on these two backgrounds because now when that yellow green color is on a yellow background it looks greener and um, actually in fact something that I should have mentioned before that really helps with this effect is to eliminate the stroke so in Illustrator um, the, the default is that you have a black stroke so if you go in and you and you eliminate the stroke this also see now has a black stroke and if I if I get rid of the stroke here by selecting the square with the red slash through it when I open up the um, the palette for the stroke options then you'll see that the effect is even greater because now the foreground and the background colors are able to interact with one another to a greater degree okay so this is how um, the principle of ground subtraction works and this is all you all that you need to do for this assignment but it's much it's it's much easier to execute it if you actually do think about how the background subtracts its qualities of hue value and saturation from the foreground okay so now the the second assignment week three uh, assignment three is to do the opposite it's to take two different colors and make them appear to be the same color now this I'm going to leave for a second video because it requires a little bit more uh, manipulation but it's basically the same exercise on the same same based on the same principles just working from the reverse direction.